What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLoneware back with another review. Gardena reached out to me. They wanted me to refilm this video. There was a bunch of miscommunication on the first video. They wanted me to do another review, but correct those miscommunications that we had between each other, but this is still gonna be a 100% honest review. So let's get started. So before we start this review, this is actually how the first hose rail that they gave me came. That's right, that's how that box looked. And now they're saying that they're not responsible for the way it's shipped or how it's being shipped to their house or how the box comes to your house, I should say. In my opinion, that's just poor quality management. I mean, I'll, I, we know all in this day and age, pretty much everything that you get, say from Amazon or things like that, it's coming in a, a another box whatever item you're getting is going into another box and coming to your house so it's not damaged in my opinion that's just bad shipping if, if they would do one thing differently i would say put their actual hose reel in a side of a box and then ship it and then that problem wouldn't have happened so obviously this is the gardena hose reel it is a half inch line so if you're looking for something with some sort of water pressure you're not going to get it with a half inch line I've, have, I've had this for a while now. I had a, another half inch hose reel I'm gonna show you in a little bit as well. And half inch hoses are just not good for water pressure. So if you're looking for strong water pressure, you gotta get a three quarter inch or a five eighths inch hose. That's just the way it works. Uh, I, I wish somebody would make a hose reel like that, but nobody has that on the market yet. So most hose reels are gonna be a half inch. So obviously they have a quick connect system right here as well as their leader hose right here. I'm gonna show you how long your leader hose is and why I believe that it should be a lot longer. So here is the leader hose that I was talking about. The miscommunication in the last video was that I said the leader hose was four foot. You could see it's probably about four and a half foot. They're saying that it's five foot. I don't think it's five foot. I'm stretching this out as much as I can. And I mean, it gets close to the five foot, but it doesn't unless they're, if, unless they're counting for it to go into that hose reel as well. But you could see here, four foot, five foot, six foot. Remember that six foot. I'm going to show you a hose, a leader hose that's six foot in a, in a little bit, but six foot, five foot, four foot. Remember that. And just like I showed in my other video, the, their hose actually comes with this nozzle. It does not come with a trigger nozzle like this one. I thought they were supposed to send me this one. It was supposed to come in the package, but it does not. So that's a big downfall not having a push nozzle. You have to buy this separately. This hose reel comes with this style nozzle. I really don't like these style nozzles. First of all, this just seems like very cheap and plastic. It does fit into their Quick Connect system, which is great. But the big downfall with their Quick Connect system is that you can only use these connectors that come with it unless you want to purchase them separately. So obviously this Quick Connect will fit in there no problem. But if you go to your regular Home Depot or Lowe's and you want to use one of these quick connects, you cannot. These quick connects will not fit in there. And the big downfall, as we all know as Americans, that our hose ends have a male end to them. Or actually it has a female end, I should say. So if we wanted to do a quick connect, we can't use their quick connects because this quick connect is not going to fit obviously into here. You need a male end to go into this female end here. So you have to buy a separate quick connect. Obviously the company wants you to buy their stuff, but again, you have to buy that separate. It does not come with the hose reel. So I can't use a regular nozzle I can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. So in my opinion, it's not even worth buying this hose reel if you have to buy a separate trigger or a separate quick connect just to make these quick connects work. Now this hose reel, I will say that the, it does work well. It stops, it locks, no problem. It goes back into its home. No problem, I will give it credit for that. This seems to work really well. It seems to reel up the hose real nicely inside. So I will give that a plus for this hose reel. The other big downfall in my opinion is this mount. Now they told me that this mount was meant to go on a side of a house or a siding. But in my opinion, I don't want this mounted on my siding because if I move, there's gonna be holes there. That's aluminum siding over there. It's expensive to fix and replace. As you can see here, what I had to do since it's five inches wide is I had to get a three inch post here that's cemented in the ground. Then I had to get an additional almost three and a half inch post and screw this into this post just to make this mount work. 
Now, I, like they said, obviously this mount was meant to be on the side of a house, but I don't want it there. And again, that's a big downfall for me. On the other side of my house, I've had this now for three years. This is made by Tack Life. This is a hundred foot long. It's again, uh, it's a half inch. Like I said, most hose reels you're gonna find today are half inch long. Again, but the biggest thing with this that I really love is having this leader hose right here. This leader hose is six foot long. It is plenty long. It does not restrict the sw swivel back and forth. And what another key thing that I really love about this hose reel is the mounting bracket. This mounting bracket is small. It fits right on this post, no problem. It's really, it's really helpful having that mounting post, you know, small. Like I said earlier, Gardena, they did reach out to me. That one was made for being attached to your house. But again, I really wouldn't want it attached to my house. Again, you know, it, it, it can, if you're not careful and you're not good with a drill, I mean, you could really damage your siding, things like that. Obviously it comes with anchors, but again, I think having a post, it's a lot easier to do. Easy to dig a hole, cement it in the ground, no problem at all. They also sell posts where you don't even have to cement them in the ground anymore. So in my opinion, this is a better option to go with. And this is the same end of that hose rail that I showed you made by Tack Life. You could see this is a male end, so it can easily fit into a female end of a hose nozzle that's made right in the United States. You can get any of these kind of hose reels or hose nozzles in the United States. So all I have to do is take this hose and all I gotta do is screw it on. That's how it should work, guys. If you're gonna buy something in, or you want something that's gonna work in the United States that's universal, then this is this kind of style that you want. You want a male end, and I'm sorry, Gardena, but if you're gonna market something in the United States, you really need to adjust your design and market it this way. So there you have it. That's my second review now of the Gardena hose reel. And as you can see, if you're an American that lives in the United States, I do not recommend this hose reel for you. You see those connections, they are very inconvenient in my opinion. We know that stuff breaks all the time, especially the way things are made today and where they're made. Things are just made cheap and they're gonna break. And then if that does happen, it's gonna be really inconvenient for you not to be able to go get a, a nozzle, a switch things out easily. So in my opinion, I would look at a different kind of hose reel. If you found today's video helpful or if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.